everybody and thank you for clicking on the video um <clears throat> as you read from the title you guys know that this story time is about I, I hate all of that okay hey girlfriends hey it's your girl Chelsea Desiree here and I'm here for my very first story time video i am so excited because i can watch story time videos like all day and i had some story time videos that i actually want to share with you guys well i may share more depending on how this one does and how people are feeling it stuff like that but as you can see from the title this story time video is about the time my boyfriend was in love with two women yes if you do watch my regular vlogs, then you know that I am engaged to the love of my life. I don't have my ring on right now, you know, because I'm just in the house chilling. You know what I'm saying? I was taking a shower and cleaning all that good stuff and I put my ring on, but none of that matters. <laughs> Babe, can you lower your voice? Use that. Okay, y'all. So, <clears throat> now I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> So this all started when I was in high school. I was a senior in high school. I was like 17 years old. And I met this guy who I just thought was the bee's knees, y'all. Like I just thought he was just everything. He was a football player. He was um, a basketball player. He was a track star. Like he was like a jock or whatever. And um, I just thought he was so cute so great everybody liked him he was super super popular blah 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 so anyway we got together we decided to be a couple and it was so cute y'all like <laughs> walking down the hallways arm in arm hand in hand and everybody's like oh yeah you know he's one of the popular couples in high school you know because he was very very popular and um i was kind of popular too but I wasn't really as popular as him because I didn't even go to their middle school or anything like that. So this was like a new high school for me. Like I didn't live in the area. It was out of my zone and all that kind of thing. So my boyfriend, I'm just going to call him my boyfriend at the time. I, I don't want to give people fictitious names because I don't feel like trying to remember what fictitious name I gave them or anything like that. So I'm just going to call him my boyfriend at the time. Alright, <laughs> so my boyfriend at the time, he had a best friend who was a female. Now, normally that causes a red flag to me. Even at that age, even in high school, I never trusted that best friend stuff because I knew how girls did. However, this particular girl was like, she was like a tomboy kind of, you know, like, a lot of the guys were cool with her because she also like played sports and stuff like that and she was always like the homie like the guys really wasn't really checking for her like that and I, I didn't feel threatened by her you know what I'm saying like I didn't feel like no shade but at the time I didn't feel like she was that attractive or whatever and I just thought that they was just friends like I really didn't see I couldn't see anything ever happening between the two of them. So anyway, so you know how high school relationships are or whatever, like sometimes me and him would like break up or whatever and we'd get back together and then sometimes we would not have the title but still be basically together like doing everything as if we were girlfriend and boyfriend but we didn't have that title so that's what was going on. So one time I got mad or whatever and I was like, I don't want to go to prom. And now I was a senior and he was a junior, but his best friend was a senior with me. So it's like, I don't want to go to prom, blah, 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 like whatever. So then one time he hit me back up. Now we were still talking every single day, but we was together. We were like together without the title. I And y'all, I don't recommend that at all. And when now that I'm older, like I would never go for that. But being that I was in high school and stuff like that, I was like, all right, whatever. So, we had like just an, an agreement or an understanding that he wasn't going to talk to any other females and I wasn't going to talk to any other guys. Like, you know, it was basically as if we had the title foolishness, right? Anyway, come with me, come with me. So, he one time hit me up and was like, 
you know, after we finished chilling or whatever, he was like, oh, I got a question. And I was like, what's up? And he was like, so you still not trying to go to prom? And I was like, hmm, I don't know. Maybe we'll see, like, why? And he was like, well, because my best friend wants to go with me. And I was like, thinking in my head, I was like, why does she want to go with you? I was like, I mean, did she just not have anybody else to go to go with? So she's like, I'll just go with my best friend or like, why? You know, because I always had just that slight thing in the back of my mind. Like, you know, that woman's intuition. I, I had that. I was like, well, because she likes me. What? Like, what do you mean? Now you're telling me that she likes you. But you've never told me during the whole school year, the whole time we've been together and stuff like that. Like, you never told me that this girl likes you. You never thought that that was information that I needed to know, especially with y'all spending so much time together. And he was like, it's not that serious, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. So we got in an argument and I was like, you know what? Forget it. Because he just seemed like... He was having a hard time choosing between going with his best friend or going with like his girlfriend type, you know. So I was like, since you're having such an issue, since you're having such a problem with choosing and stuff like that, I said, I'm going to make your decision easier for you, boo. How about this? I'm going to exclude myself from the running or whatever of being your prom date and I'm going to go with somebody else like that or whatever. I said... I'm going to make this easier. Choose her. I want you to. Because I'm, I'm out of it. Like, you, he's over here like, I don't know, I don't know. And I'm just like, this should be like a no-brainer. So I'm like, I'm going with someone else, blah, 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 blah. And so then he's like, no, no. I really want to go with you. Like, I want to go with you, blah, blah, blah. So we go to prom, right? All right. We go to prom. And let me tell you, okay, so we always had this thing in our relationship where if we would go to dances or something like that, we didn't have to, like, cling to each other. Like, we could, like, walk around and dance with other people and stuff like that. So, I would dance with some other people. He would dance with some other people. Okay, so, the next day, y'all, prom ended, blah, blah, blah. The next day, or the next Monday when we get back to school, my friend was like, um, did you see what my boyfriend's best friend put on Facebook and I was like no like I don't follow her on Facebook and so she showed me her status and the girl was like I had so much fun with my boo like I danced with him all night long and I didn't even go with him and everybody was like we know that she's talking about your boyfriend or whatever and I was like wow so it just so happens that my boyfriend at the time he came around or whatever. Like, he came around, like, when we were walking to class or we were walking somewhere, we were still talking about it. And so, my friends was like, yo, like, what's up with your best friend? Like, what's going on with her? And he was over there like, she's crazy, man. She's crazy. Like, I don't know what's wrong with her. Like, she need to chill with that. Like, she's obsessed with me. Blah, 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 blah. She's crazy. So, I'm thinking in the back of my mind. I'm like, hmm. So, now... He's claiming that she's crazy, but they spend so much time together. Like, this is your best friend, and you think she's crazy? Like, if you really think she's crazy and she's obsessed with you and all this other stuff, you wouldn't even be, you wouldn't want anything to do with her. You know? Like, come on now. Come on now. One plus one equals two. Like, I'm not stupid. Alright, so, fast forward. Um... Me and him eventually just ended up, like, calling it quits. And I was just kind of like, you know, I didn't think that he was good for me. Um, I, I felt like he was my first love at the time, so I was still in love with him. I was going off to college. He was going to stay in high school, you know, because he was a year younger than me. So it was like, you know, I need to move on. So I'm in high school doing my thing, but I will always think about this dude in the back of my mind because I'm like, dang, like, this is my first love. Like, I'm still thinking about him, but I'm kind of like dating around and that kind of thing or whatever. So he comes into my life again. Somehow he comes into my life and it's kind of like just where we picked off and we're like boyfriend and girlfriend all over again. 
but like without the title kind of thing but it's like you can't talk to no other girls i can't talk to no other guys blah 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 i always had like a trust issue with him and he was talking to other girls and stuff like that as we were starting to become you know like that again and we were we talking again we strong we heavy we talking every day you know we hanging out all the time it, it's it's just like it was in high school and stuff like that right now his best friend is still in his life she went off to college as well but she went to a local college and they were still together all the time basically so it was like this kind of like we had the weirdest relationship. It was like me and her was cool, but at the same time, it was like some bakery. You know what I'm saying? Because I knew that she liked him and he was like messing with me like that or whatever. And so I felt like it was like some jealousy and like some stuff going on between that. But I was just cool with her for the sake of him or whatever. So one day um because me and her are like getting cool or whatever or at least acting like it for me i was kind of like keeping my enemies close with her because i didn't trust her um and i think she might have been doing the same with me so anyway one day she hits me and this is from like we all have hung out like plenty of times before like all three of us together and stuff like that and he will be like all over me and stuff like that blah 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 because me and him was talking like that or whatever so she tells me in confidence we have a private moment alone she tells me that she's in love with him and that him and her have been having sex for a long time um he tells her he loves her you know and stuff like that like they've been like they talk like the same way that me and him talk and interact is the same way that her and him interact and that you know she'd been trying to keep it a secret because she knew that i didn't know and she just wanted to please him and make him happy but she was fine with it she was like, I've learned to accept it. I've learned to accept that he has feelings for both me and you. And basically, she was willing to play her part. And she wanted me to play my part and never the two shall meet kind of thing. And I was like, I can't be okay with that. Like, I can't be okay with that. Like, I can't lower myself to where I'm giving my all to this person and he's in love with another person as well so of course I confront him about this and I'm like she told me this she told me that y'all still haven't y'all having sex y'all doing this you love her blah 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 and he was like okay it was like the jig is up and he was like I'm gonna be real with you I'm in love with two women. I'm in love with you and I'm in love with her. And I'm like, wow. You know, like I'm bawling, I'm crying and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, you know, I, I don't want to tell you. I knew how you would feel, but I'm, I'm in love with the both of you. And I said, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done so I I was done I was done and it was really really hard for me because I felt like I really really love this guy but I knew that I couldn't play second fiddle I couldn't share like that wasn't me like and that was lowering my standards and I was like I can't I won't like no like my mama didn't raise me like that like no so I stopped dealing with him somehow he comes back into my life again just when i'm starting like i'm starting to get over I, i'm i'm doing the process of getting over him because it's time it had been two years since me meeting him and dealing with everything or whatever so i i'm like you know i'm starting to get over him i'm acting i'm in like this big play or whatever and that, that's always been my passion acting 
and um, I'm working and it's like I'm in school like I got a lot going on or whatever so he hits me up again probably about like another six months later and I still have feelings for the guy I still have feelings for the guy so even though I had deleted his number I memorized I had already had his number memorized so when I see the number calling on my phone I knew it was him and so I pick up the phone he calls me over it's late at night y'all late at, late at, late at night he calls me over I go over there he tells me everything that he's going through he's now living with one of his friends his mom kicked him out he already had like a struggling relationship with his mom he was adopted and it was a lot of stuff that he had internally going on with him when it comes to women and stuff like that and that's you know that's a whole nother story or whatever so I come over and it was like from that night that I came over he got me again like he got me like I'm back you know what I'm saying and um hold that though sorry my mom just called me but so like I was saying I'm back just like that talking every day you know interacting like we start this process once again I'm back he told me that his best friend is in the military or whatever and I was like oh, okay whatever so he wouldn't really talk too much about her or anything um, so I'm like okay we start over and um, one day I was over there spent the night at his house and I had had this thing on my mind because I felt like it, he had strong feelings for this girl and um, I felt like I was being used I felt like I was being used so I was like hey you know can I ask you a question this is after we had like a really great night a really like fun night and stuff like that and I said do you ever think that you know you have me here because you're filling the void of missing her and his first initial response was sometimes and I wasn't expecting that like I expected him to say no heck no like why would I do that like no no no, no. like no 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 you know like just being defensive about it but his, his first answer was sometimes and I said that's all I needed to hear got up and it was like a dramatic scene because like I had spent a night so I had like a bag of clothes I'm taking my clothes I'm putting them in a the bag you know everything and he's like wait wait no 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 I didn't even mean it like that like no I don't do that like no blah, blah, blah. then he's starting to react the way that I thought he was originally gonna going to react and I said you just told the truth the first answer I said you're using me I said you don't love me like that you love her like that because one time I was looking at his phone or I was trying to trying to look at his phone one time when he had his phone and I could have sworn y'all that his background picture was of this female but I could not tell because I could never get close enough to the phone so I said I was like I'm done I'm done like you know pull me back into this with you and you in love with this girl and blah, blah 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 and I'm crying and I'm crying because I felt like this was my first love and at this time I never I never thought I was gonna love somebody as much as I loved him and that I would ever have anything I never thought I would have anything like what I thought I had with him which was really nothing <laughs> to be honest but at the time I just thought we were like oh so in love or whatever so um next thing you know so i'm at my car just crying and just laying my heart on the line like you did it how you broke my heart you, blah, 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 blah. you know blah, 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 blah. so he does something unexpected and he starts crying 
Mind you, I had never seen this boy cry ever, ever. Or he, he wasn't even like real emotional, like or um, affectionate or anything like that. So for him to start crying, I was like, what? So he's crying. He's like, I'm so sorry. You know, like, I love you. Like, I love her. Like, I love both of y'all so much. And you right, you right. You know, and I respect your decision. Like, he's like, I messed up. Like, I got issues. I got problems. Like, I should have never brought you back into this and da, 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 da. and you know I looked at him I said I forgive you I forgive you I said but I gotta go you know like it was so dramatic like something out of a movie so I left and I was done 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 the done done um met some losers after that and um uh, Shortly, I so fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. I meet Dion, and we were early in our relationship. Dion and I. This was probably about. I met Dion two years after this situation was finally over, and I meet Dion, and he is everything. Like literally, you guys, everything that I wanted my ex boyfriend to be. He was like Dion literally is you know what I mean and it was just and then some like he was that and then some and I knew he was the one like we had only been together at this point at, for like two months or something and I knew he was the one it's, it was crazy it's crazy it's crazy um so lo and behold so I'm at home one day and um like at my parents house or whatever my ex-boyfriend comes to the house mind you i hadn't seen this guy in two in like two years i hadn't seen him since that argument like i never would have thought and mind you he never used to come to my house because you know like i stayed with my parents and um it was far it's pretty far from where he lived and he next so he would never come to my house like i would always go to his house child so my dad was like that my ex-boyfriend was at the house or whatever and i was like what so he comes with a card because it was my birthday my birthday had just passed or whatever and so i go outside to talk to him or whatever and he's like yeah you know i know like just doing small talk and like i miss you and stuff like that and like oh i just name dropped so he's just like my best friend and I, you know, they were together at this point. So that's now his girlfriend. So it's no longer his best friend. It's now his girlfriend. He's like, so like, yeah, my girl and I are, we live together now. We live in um, somewhere far. Like, I don't know. But it was like somewhere in another state somewhere. And I was like, okay, cool. Because I wasn't tripping. You know what I'm saying? Like I had a man or whatever. And so... He was like, yeah, you know, I just want to stop this by and tell you that I miss you. You always, you know, blah, blah, blah. You always going to be my this, 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 and this, or whatever. And, um, it was crazy. He wrote me this crazy long note that was inside of the card. And it was just, like, crazy. Like, it was crazy. Like, if I hadn't been the person that I was then, if I would have been the girl that I was two years ago, I would have felt bad. But it was crazy. So anyway, so he ends up calling me like that. And like he still, I, I had that same number for years. Like, so he ended up calling me off a different number. I didn't even know that was him. And he was like, um, cause I was like, who is this? When he was texting, like the number had texted me before he called me. And I was like, who is this? And he was like, the boy that knows you better than any other boy. And I was like, huh? And then I start thinking, like, it's got to be this, too. Because he always just would say, like, little stuff like that. Like, anyway. So he was texting me. He was like, you know, do you got a man or whatever? And I was like, I do. You know, and he was like, he better treat you right. Or this, 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 and this. And I'm like, I don't have time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have time. Like, come on now. Like, we not friends. We not exes. We not nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't even have the right. Just, just chill. Like, you're doing the most. 
And at this point, I'm complete. It's the first time in my life that I'm completely over this fool, y'all. Like, it felt so good or whatever. And so he was like, um, he was like, this is my last night in Richmond. Um, like, I want to see you tonight. And I was like, I don't think it's appropriate for me, you know, being in a relationship. Or for you being in a relationship to see you. Because he wanted to see me like late at night. Like 11 o'clock at night or something like that. I said I don't think that's appropriate. And I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> and he was like what? Because literally y'all. It's way more stuff that happened. But I just want to tell y'all the gist of, of the story. But like. Anytime he would call me y'all. Like I don't care where I was. Like we would have like these six month periods. So pop back in my life like. I would come. I would go just like that. He would text me like, can I see you tonight at 10 p.m.? I would cancel all plans. Like, I would cancel all plans to be with this boy. So when I was like, no, he was like, wow. Like, is she serious? Like, she don't ever turn me down. You know what I'm saying? But I can still tell that he was off that stuff because he was still off that old stuff. I could tell because... He got a girl, he lived with her up in Texas or wherever the heck they lived at. And he's still trying to like see me tonight. Like, really? Like, no, 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 I don't, I don't want no parts. I don't want no parts. So anyway, that was the last time I talked to him, seen him, anything. I got like a new number now. He could never hit me up because I got a new number. No social media, I have no idea. We don't follow each other, nothing, 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 nothing. We are done, 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 done. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that was my story time video when my boyfriend told me he was in love with two women at the same time. And, you know, just for advice for ladies who go, who may go through this at some point or time in their life, you know, like if a man tells you that, run. <laughs>